Space Jam, A New Legacy, arrived in theaters on July 16th that stars LeBron James, but also featured WNBA players Diana Taurasi and Neko Gumake. Neka recently hosted a special screening for a number of Los Angeles youth from the Brotherhood Crusade to view the film before anybody else. I mean, it's huge, you know. Um, it didn't quite hit me until, like, I watched it, that I was in it. Um, I'm just very grateful to have been a part of it, grateful for the experience, grateful for a new legacy, and also the fact that, you know, that is, um, that's, that's forever, you know, the movie's out there. So uh, to be representing my family, myself, the Sparks, um, it's just a huge deal. How significant yeah. was it to have other WNBA stars promote not just themselves but the league as well? Huge, especially in the time that we're in. You know, we're experiencing um, a time in which women's basketball is like catching fire. It's really igniting. And so for that representation to be in there, um, it's a testament to the time that we're in. It's a testament to a new legacy. It's a testament to, um, I think, uh, you know, LeBron and Warner Brothers awareness on, you know, what's important. And um, having that representation was important. It's really cool, you know. Um, I was hoping that people would recognize me because, <laughs> because of the role that I play in the movie, but I don't really think it matters. It's, it's just amazing to be in the movie, but not just for kids to be able to um, watch it and also, you know, me to interact with them, but also in the world that we're in, I, I feel like that was a great experience, you know, uh, kind of signifies what, what we want to get back to um, and then also hopefully jumpstarts their interest in um, – basketball, sport, and women, women in sport too, so yeah. The original Space Jam had a profound impact on NECA and her family as she prepared for Space Jam, A New Legacy. I mean, my, my first memory, my lasting memories are that of like my sisters and I watching it at home. Um, we were super into the, into the soundtrack. <laughs> so um, it, was, it was just, you know, one of those movies that as a kid you were watching and you didn't realize the impact it was having on you, um, especially um, what it meant for, you know, the time. And and it, I think a Space Jam: A New Legacy is coming out at the at the same opportune time as the first one did, um, and it represents the time that we're in. And so I kind of draw those two parallels when um, when I think about watching it with my sisters growing up. I mean, my agent called me and she's like, "You gonna be in Space Jam?" I said, "Say less." <laughs> that, that, that was it. <laughs> Um, yeah, and at that point, I was just kind of like, please follow through, please follow through. Like, you know, I was just kind of like waiting for like, you know, all right, you're shooting on these times, you know, every, every step of the way, I was like, please don't, please don't take me out of this, you know? Um, but uh, when I found out, it was, it was so exciting. Well, I didn't realize, I, I realized I was gonna be a goon, um, but I didn't know in what capacity um, and how much they would really delve into that. Um, and it occurred to me that it was like serious when like, you know, they Warner Brothers sat me down and they're like, this is what your character looks like. And they were like, they were like, we hope you like it. And I was like, I mean, <laughs> I could have been a freaking cup of water and I would have been okay. <laughs> you know, like um, I was just really grateful for the opportunity and my character kind of evolved. And then honestly, the most fun that I had was the kind of the voiceover work because not only was like my character in it and it looks like me, but then like my voice, like you can hear my voice in there. And so I thought that that was really, really cool. Who was really good was Dame. And I think it's cause like he raps and he does his music videos. Like he has a very natural knack for it. Um, LeBron was like on when we came, cause by the time we got on set, like he had already been filming for like six hours. Um, and then um, AD was also really good too. Um, he and LeBron had a really good synergy, of course. Of course. Yeah. but. Outside of that, it was just me and D like, yo, we can't mess up our lives. <laughs> but it was fun. It was a lot of fun.